So are you considering doing invisible braces? Because if you're considering it and are still sitting on the fence, you gotta do it. So we are moving on to the eighth set of trays today, which is blowing my mind. I can't believe it's already been two weeks since the last update. Really not much has changed from the last couple of sets in that, um, you know, having a very similar experience of a little bit of tightness and snug, feeling pressure the day, uh, the first day and the second day. But after that, honestly, it really is getting, you know, honestly, it seems like it's getting easier. I'm starting to notice bigger changes in my teeth. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys where in the kit that I am as far as my progress. Um, the one thing I would say is it's, it's getting so exciting to, to start to see these changes that even the day before I change, like I almost can't sleep because I'm so excited to get the next set in and to see how far my progress is. The process is, like I said, you know, as you guys have seen, week to week, or sorry, tray to tray, things are, you know, they're different. Some, sometimes the soreness lasts for a couple more days. Sometimes it feels like it's super, super snug from the beginning. And sometimes it feels like it's not very snug depending on kind of when you change your trays. So we're gonna go ahead and switch to, um, actually before we switch to tray number eight, I wanna show you guys in the box where I am as far as, as, far as the program is going, which looking at it from this way, it was kind of cool to see how far we progress. So let's take a look at the box. So just to give you some perspective about how far along I am in the program, this is week seven, which I just wrapped up, starting this set of trays here. Now my entire plan is the rest of this row and this row up to here, and that's it. So just to give you an idea, this is how far along I am. So actually it's kind of crazy getting close to the halfway point, really cool. Right? Pretty cool to see how far along we are with the plan. So, I've got my eighth set here. Yes, my pocket's clean, I promise. So let's go ahead and put these in. So not too bad. <clears throat> Still not noticing any of the, the cutting that was happening in my cheek from before, which is nice. I haven't had to file a pair down since I think set six. So set seven, no filing. Actually, I don't even think, I think five was the last time I had to do any filing. Um, set six, set seven, and now set eight. The lisp is back a little bit, which is okay, because that usually goes away in about an hour or so. But I don't feel anything cutting into my cheek. And um, they feel good. There was one thing that I was talking to uh, someone about yesterday, a critique that I have that really kind of frustrated me. Um, you know. And I want to be honest with you guys and transparent because, yes, everything about this program I love, but and not everything's perfect. So one critique I had for, for Candico, and hopefully if they see this, they'll uh, maybe appreciate it and, and make a change. But the hook that you got with the kit to pull the trays back out, um, when you first put them in, they're pretty snug and they can be hard to pull out. Um, or if you just are a germaphobe and you don't like sticking your fingers all in your mouth, that hook does not fit in the carrying case. So the whole idea with the carrying case and the hook is you have a hook to keep your fingers out of your mouth so that stay, you know, so you, you keep it, you know, somewhat sanitary. And then you got your carrying case to put your aligners in when you're not using them or when you're eating and things like that. Well, if I have to put the hook in my pocket because it won't fit in the carrying case, it kind of defeats the purpose of keeping the hook, using the hook to keep your fingers out of your mouth because you're just putting the hook in your dirty pocket and then using that in your mouth. So I think that changing the shape or the size of either the container, the, the, carry, the carry case, or the hook, so the hook can go in the carrying case, would be like such a, an easy fix and such a smart idea. And one of the other things that I would suggest is, as I've mentioned, there's some times where I have to file down the edges of the trays, right? And that's not a big deal. That's actually something that Candico told me about prior to starting. They said you may have to file these down if the edges are too sharp. Well, if that's a known issue, then to me it makes a whole lot more sense that you guys, that, that Canico would put an emery board or some sort of device that you can use to file the edge down versus me having to go out and buy an emery board or buy another nail file, whatever the case may be. If they know it's an issue, put something in the kit from the beginning so that when people have a problem like I did, the solution's right there, so they don't have to go out and buy other stuff. So just a suggestion to Candid Co. Hope you guys are enjoying this. 
Comment below, if you're considering doing this, leave me a comment below and tell me why you haven't done it yet. Hopefully I can help to kind of push you to do it because it's such a fun thing and it truly is exciting, man. It really is life-changing, you know, to know that I'm, I'm pretty much halfway to a perfect smile is, is incredible. It's such a cool experience and you truly will see huge changes pretty quick uh, into the program. So let's check out the pictures from this week. Let's check out the slider of progress so we can see the digital version of where my mouth is. And then I will catch you guys in two more weeks. Again, comment below. Let me know if you're on the fence, if you're thinking about it, let me know whatever reason you may have for not doing it. Let me know below if we can talk about it, see if we can kind of get you in the right direction. Also, don't forget, if you use the code CheerDoc25, it will get you 25% off of your impression kit, which is, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty big savings. So check out that in the comment or in the, in the description below, that code will be down there. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone that may be considering doing invisible braces uh, through Candico uh, or any other company for that matter. We can kind of push you towards Candico. Um, really love this company and all they're doing. So let's check those things out and we'll see you in two weeks.